On all your dives, you have been able to see bizarre organisms that most people have only seen on TV. After a few dives, you will get to know these creatures better, know how they behave, what they eat, how they live, and when and where it is possible to encounter them. If you follow the PSS Underwater Ecology Speciality course, you will learn a lot about the different forms of life that inhabit the underwater world and about how they are related. The study activities will be limited to the observation of the various species and not to collecting samples, an activity that is governed by law and regulations worldwide. Scholars have classified the numerous species into homogenous groups, creating a complex schema in which the various organisms are inserted. In order to identify them, each organism has been given its own scientific name, composed of its type and species in Latin. However, this dive can only give you a rough idea of what you can learn on the specialization course. Generally, aquatic life forms are grouped together according to their environment. Pelagic creatures live in the open sea, while benthic ones live on the seabed. For example, the mist-like suspension that reduces the visibility on some dives is part of the pelagic world. This is plankton, a multitude of minute marine organisms unable to counteract the movement of the water that just drifts along with the current. The most common plankton life forms are made up mostly of microscopic plant organisms, phytoplankton. The animal forms, zooplankton, make up the rest. The forms of life able to contrast the currents make up the nekton, and they swim very well. Some fish of the tuna family swim up to 300 kilometers a day. All the pelagic fish usually move in large shoals. Almost all of them have a dark back and light-colored stomach so that they blend in with their environment if seen from above or below. To complement the pelagic environment is the benthic group with the organisms that dwell on the seabed. The various benthos life forms have different relationships with the substrate on which they live. The sessile forms are fixed in one place and do not move. The sessile creatures are usually filterers, such as mussels, sponges or gorgonias. They depend on the movement of the water for their nourishment. Then there are sedentary forms, which throughout their life move just a few meters, feet. Echinoderms such as sea urchins and starfish belong to this group. Instead, other benthic forms move freely and over longer distances, even though their existence is connected to the sea floor. These creatures are called vagile and include, among others, fish, crustacea and mollusks, particularly cephalopods such as the octopus. There are also forms of life that remain fixed to the seabed and make up the endofauna group. Even more interesting is observing the interaction between the different species, like the fantastic cleaning stations where small cleaning wrasse or shrimps move all over the fish and remove parasites or flakes of dead skin. In some cases, it is enough to have just a dive slate to carry out a study of the marine life, but some other items of equipment may also be useful. For the PSS Advanced Open Water Diver course, your instructor will have you make a guided dive and you will be provided with waterproof identification cards. In this way, you will learn to recognize the various forms of life and identify them. A compass and a dive light will also be useful, while the dive computer will provide you with the information about the depth and water temperature. It is recommended that any actions you take while observing the marine life are coordinated and supervised by someone scientifically qualified, ideally a marine biologist. Using a camera is a good way of recording your observation, but it is not enough. Remember to also note down the depth, the temperature of the water and any eventual interaction with other species on your dive slate. We are certain that after this dive, you will see the underwater world from a different point of view. Happy diving!